Stjernholm Reviews. Your sound, your music, your planet. Hey guys, just because you love your good old analog gear here, it doesn't mean that you have to miss out on things like room correction. It can be done at the source. But first, attention, all hands to the cause. The heart of our campaign beats on Patreon, where for as little as $4 a month, you can enlist in the fight for nature's preservation. To the brave companies and steadfast individuals already on the roster, we thank you. You know who you are, and your service is deeply valued. Enlist today, gain access to exclusive listening sessions, and stand with us on the front line for the natural world. Thank you for your attention. For example, this beautiful little thing here called the Blue Sound icon, it can actually run direct. It's a license you can install, and then you'll be able to use it as a direct-based corrector. Or you could insert a processor in between your preamplifier and your power amplifier. In this setup, I added a Lindorf TDAI 3400, meaning that I use the C5000 wonderful analog preamp here for all the tactile stuff, use that, touch that, change all my inputs, and then the signal runs through the linked off. And in order to set that up, let me quickly show you how that is done. All you do to run a TDAI 3400 as a clean processor just going in and out is delete all the inputs except the one you want to use. In my case here, I'm using the XLR. In the output setup, you use the analog output, you can disable the digital one. It's a full range output and you set it up as a non-regulated one. On the input side, we set the input up as a home theater bypass input. Now, setting up a processor like that could lead to some serious issues. Let's just say by accident, you started streaming something and that would be a full scale output to your power amplifier. Lindorf, of course, thought of that, meaning that you can disable the streaming functions inside the TDAI 3400. That leaves us with a simple I.O. digital processor that can run room perfect and all the other functions that the processors are known for. In order to make it invincible in your daily use, simply hook it up. So when you flip your on switch there, it will simply be triggered using the trigger input. Simple as that. And that's how you insert that kind of processing in between your analog preamplifier and power amplifier. Check out all the other groovy stuff on the channel. See you there.